Hi, so today I'm going to talk about looking at whether or not you should hire an architect or whether you should be looking to hire a technician. So let's first look at why you might be thinking about the differences. Um, so you want to get some drawings done for your home renovation project, you're looking for an extension and you turn around and you say, well, I need drawings. So you say, who am I going to go to for the drawings? And you might naturally think I'll go to an architect. Now, if you're just looking for drawings and no necessary design input or sort of um, you know, strategic consideration of how the space might work for you or layout implications or how it all comes together and how it might impact your lifestyle as a family living in the house, um, <laughs> then a technician may be better suited to your needs. Yeah, what you're fundamentally asking is, do I need somebody to really think about how I'm going to use the space, what's going to work best for me, how it might impact the end user, uh, whether that be yourself, your family, it could be, well, you know, you might be thinking about it in a wider context. Um, and then if the answer to that is, yes, I really want somebody to help me understand, you know, how I walk around my kitchen or how the bathroom is going to work with all the storage and how that's going to impact my day-to-day -day life. Is that going to make me feel good in the morning when I go in for a shower or am I going to be kind of stressed out by all the clutter that I can see everywhere once the space is designed and I'm not really solving a problem? Once you've thought about that, that's when you can decide whether or not you need an architect or a technician. Now, in terms of the, the costs involved with an architect, an architect is likely to be more expensive. Um, and that's primarily because they've had a lot more education and they've got a lot more experience in that particular field in terms of design and considering a client's brief and how to even develop a client's brief. Because sometimes you've not really even understood what you want and then your architect will work through that with you um, to get to that point. Uh, a technician um, does have its advantages like I said they can be a little bit cheaper at the outset um, but quite often you will just get quite flat drawings um, little consideration as to how the space works uh, you know we, we often get phone calls saying oh can we just have a, some drawings for a box we want to put on the back of our house fine we're gonna say look you're gonna be better off using a technician because we're gonna be that little bit more expensive and what we really want to home into is what it is that you need and how we can fulfill your brief so when you're thinking about all of these things it's kind of understanding what value am I getting from these two people and where does that sit within my need in terms of budget. Um, you may have a, an idea about how much you want to spend with an architect or a technician um, and that's got to be aligned with what is realistic as well. Um, so if it's not realistic then you may be looking at actually what can I strip this back to, in which case a technician may be better suited, they'll say, you know, provide you a set of construction drawings. Um, be always be mindful that a technician may not necessarily be registered with uh, any official professional body uh, and therefore you may also not be protected in terms of insurances and other things that um, you would be with an architect. So uh, to be a registered architect or to be even be called an architect in the UK, you need to be registered at the ARB and this means that you have to hold certain levels of indemnity insurance. So if anything were to go wrong you have at least got that protection um, through that kind of consumer act around uh, hiring an architect which you wouldn't necessarily have uh, with a technician some technicians are regulated and they may be registered with the Chartered Institute of Architectural Technicians, but there is no requisite for them to do so. So equally, um, you, you need to be mindful of what you're kind of signing up for and how risk you you know risk averse you are to those protections if that makes sense so that you know some people that's not a bother if they're just looking for those drawings to pass on to a builder to get the statutory approvals in place um, then a technician is going to be perfectly fine um, but if you want that little bit more kind of uh, peace of mind that sounds um, and sort of s settling in um, with that kind of talk through process uh, a more handheld structured process perhaps working with an architect is going to be more suited to you. Um, so beyond cost, there are those kind of considerations about what you want to get out of the project and who you're working with. Um, it doesn't mean to say that a technician can't help you with design, um, they're just less trained for it. Um, and so a lot of people will have picked up experience over time. Um, they may be um, less averse to kind of understanding the nuances in, in, in a space um, and you may get less design creative uh, solutions put forward. Um, but again, you know, if that works for you and you've got a really clear idea of what it is you're looking for and what you need, uh, a technician will, will be suited. Um, Architects are also trained in sort of construction uh, law uh, to a small extent and they'll have a bit of better understanding of contract 
uh, and uh, what's the best way to proceed sort of from a contractual perspective with a builder um, and if that sort of protection is something you are looking for then again yeah you should definitely be working with an architect so it's really there are benefits and you know pros and cons to working with either you need to understand what it is you're looking for uh, to define whether or not it's better for you to be working with a technician or an architect or again you know if you speak to an architect many will say look this project isn't going to work for you because of xyz you need to hire a technician um, and vice versa you know you may feel like you're working with a technician but you're just not getting any ideas out of them you're not getting any creative you know um, and that's when you should probably say to yourself you know what actually i should probably look into interview some architects to see what i can get um because I, what i'm really looking for is to maximize what is possible with my budget and things like that so having an objective way to think about it it's probably going to sit really well um, and then really understanding the differences between the two um, and speaking to either an architect or a technician is probably going to rattle it out for you as to what is going to work better for you.